In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about segment registers. In the previous tutorial, we have discussed the microprocessor 8086 architecture in detail. So in that tutorial, we discussed about two units which divide the microprocessor, which was the bus interface unit and the execution unit. So there are two units or two parts of the architecture that we have already seen in the previous tutorial. So we know that all the microprocessors have basic task of first fetching the instructions, then decoding the instructions so that operations can be applied on it and finally executing the instructions. So in the bus interface unit, we saw that fetching and decoding take place. So we fetch instructions from the main memory. So we saw that this unit was having a set of registers. So the set of registers was the CS register, the DS, ES and SS registers. So these registers which are actually uh, used to address the memory are known as the segment registers. So the definition is just it generates memory addresses. So segment registers are used to generate memory addresses. So we are going to talk about the use of each of these registers CS register, DS, ES and SS register and we will also see how they actually address the memory. One important task that every microprocessor does is addressing the memory. So let's suppose we have a memory like this. We know that memory has some physical addresses. So I will assign address here, which is of the hexadecimal format and also here. So let's suppose we have a memory and what we do is these registers, these segment registers are used to address particular segments in this memory. Now this memory is not actually divided into segments but it, it already has continuous blocks in it like this and so on. The memory has continuous blocks in it but these segment registers what they do they address some particular blocks in the memory and the size of each block that a segment register can address is of 64 kilobyte. So let's suppose we have a CS register, a segment register. So CS is the code segment register, code segment register. So this register will have a block of 64 kilobyte in the memory. Now what this register has, now since we are studying the microprocessor 8086, we know that it is a 16 bit microprocessor. So this CS register is of 8 bit is of 8 bit and what happened is this CS register holds the memory address the memory address of the starting block of this whole 64 kilobyte memory space. In such a way data segment DS is known as the data segment and similar to the code segment it is also allocated a 64 kilobyte space memory space 
So these registers, segment registers, hold the segment addresses. So these registers actually hold the segment addresses. So we already know the formula. We know that uh, the memory has physical addresses. So we already know the formula to calculate the physical address, which we have discussed in the previous tutorial. So physical address is calculated as segment address, which we can actually fetch from one of these code segment or data segment or any segment register multiplied by 10 hexadecimal or 10 H plus the offset address plus the offset address. So if we are at any particular block, let's suppose we are in the CS block or the code segment block of 64 kilobyte and we want to actually go to some particular block inside this block let's suppose we want to go inside this block so this block will have some offset address it will have some offset address which is added to get the actual physical address so you can think of this as of let's suppose you have a book and the book is divided into chapters so you can consider the book as a memory and the chapters as the segments so to access each segment what you will do is you will specify the page number the page number of each chapter inside the index and this, these chapters, each of these chapters are further divided into topics. So to access any topic, you can go to the page number of that particular topic, which is actually the offset address. So just uh, an additional example to remember this concept. Now the code segment, what it, uh, what is the purpose of code segment? Now this segment register this is not a segment this is a these all of these are segment registers they are not the segments of memory they store the address of a particular segment inside a memory so the code segment is a section of memory that holds that holds the code and the code includes the programs and procedures well procedures are just functions in our inside our program so let's suppose you have you create a c plus plus program so a program has some code in it so let's suppose you say a plus b and you are just printing it out so the a plus b is actually an instruction which we will study when we will convert this whole program into assembly language now this instruction is of a code so we store these instructions these code inside the code segment and this is the data segment so the program has some data in it so let's suppose i say int a equals to 5 so a equals to 5 is actually a data which can get stored in the data segment or if you want to uh, add some more data inside this program it will all get stored in the data segment so it is a section of memory that contains most data used by a program used by a program then we have the extra segment register extra segment register and the extra segment register is just an additional it is an additional data segment so if you have some additional data or you want to store some contents 
of other register of other registers then you can use the extra segment so a good example of the extra segment will be let's suppose you want to swap two numbers swap two numbers so you use a temporary variable and this temporary variable what it will do is it will store the value of another variable and then we can actually swap the variables without losing the value of a so an extra segment is used to store the contents of other registers or it can even store the offset addresses or it can store the offset addresses the last one is the uh, the stack segment the stack segment and the stack segment it defines area it particularly defines area of memory or we can say memory space used for the stack used for the stack we will study about stacks more in detail in the further coming tutorials and the basic reason why we are studying segment registers is that these are all used in the instructions so when we will actually study the movement instructions in a microprocessor or an assembly program we are going to use these symbols the cs ds es and ss so it's essential that you will know what these are actually used for and what is the working idea behind these segment registers now we also have another set of registers which, which we call as fs and gs and these are nothing but just some supplemental segment registers supplemental segment registers to store some supplementary data now these are the segment registers that we have discussed in the next tutorial we are going to study the registers inside the execution unit which are known as the multi-purpose registers and we will also discuss some special purpose registers in the bus interface unit as uh, such as rip which is the instruction pointer rsp which is the stack pointer or r flags r flags so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching